your story started really, really young when you were just five, right? And can you, can you share some of the challenges that you went through? And, and I, I remember when I first saw your keynote, uh, as you said these things, I was going, oh, my God, that's a, that, that would be incredible. You know, that would be horrendous to overcome. And then something more happened. And this, it was like, oh, my God. Uh, so the fact that you're where you are now is is phenomenal. I, I was wondering if you can start off where it started when you were five and then some of the, the key things that happened along there. I suppose, I, I suppose it started before I was five, in fact. It's just, I mean, the upbringing that I had over here in the UK, we have, we have some you know, poor estates called sink estates. And I was brought up in poverty. We had no money in the house. And I appreciate a lot of people have been through this. Alcohol, drugs, parents splitting up. I had all that to contend with. So life was tough anyway. But as you remember from my keynote, it got much worse a week before my sixth birthday when my mum, who was quite reckless at the time, went out drinking. And little did we know, we were basically never going to see her again. Because, of course... And we discovered this the following morning. She, she wasn't home. We went looking for her. What we had no idea, what nobody had any idea, what, what the, the death of my mum was the start of. How my mum died, and your, your listeners, of course, won't know this, but she was murdered that night at the back of the house, 50 yards from the home. And it was the start of a what turned out to be a five-year campaign by a man who was named Peter Sutcliffe, Many of the listeners won't know who this is. Peter Sutcliffe was a serial killer. He murdered 13 women that we know about. My mum, Wilma McCann, was the first to die. That started on the 30th of October, 1975. And to be honest, when I f well, first of all, when I found out mum had gone, I never thought I would ever have a smile on my face again. I never thought I'd bounce back. And that was just the death of my mum. Before it became this massive now worldwide media stories well known there's been 20 odd books written about mum's killer it was a horrible start to life and you know when I look back now all these 43 years later it is one hell of a journey and when you listen to it for an hour as you as you did back in vancouver when, it, when you get it to an hour it's like oh my gosh it is one thing after another but you have to do you have to remember it has been one long journey that's it's just one step 